The New England Journal of Medicine published a study that reveals clinical applications for the world's first thought-controlled bionic leg prosthesis developed here at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. The bionic leg works very intuitively. When a patient thinks about moving their limb, a neural signal from the brain moves down the spinal cord and out through the peripheral nerves to the muscles in the leg. Targeted muscle reinnervation, a procedure developed at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, allows nerve signals that would have gone to the ankle to be redirected to the healthy hamstring. Electrodes placed over those hamstring muscles help decode the movement the patient is trying to perform and tells the prosthesis how to move. This allows the patient to move the bionic leg by simply thinking about what he wants the leg to do. The bionic leg transitions seamlessly between walking, going up and down stairs and ramps, and allows the patient to even comfortably reposition the leg while seated. With this thought control bionic leg, the team at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, in partnership with the U.S. Army, is working to provide full ability for amputees in hopes to have this technology available for the general public in about five years. Here at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, we developed the science and practical application for the world's first thought-controlled bionic leg. So this leg is different because it's trying to be guided by the signals from my, from my nerves and uh, it responds much more appropriately to the environment and where I want to go and how I want to walk. Using this leg is, you know, miles beyond what I normally walk with uh, in terms of the technology that it's using and the way that it works. When I walk with my normal prosthetic, it's more so that I have to adapt to the environment and figure out ways to, you know, going downstairs, I take my right foot first every time down each step. Um, whereas with this leg, it's more so that I just interact with my environment how a normal person would. Uh, you go downstairs, leg over leg, go upstairs the same way, um, just like a normal person would. I would say the, the gait and the mechanics of walking are smoother, um, the transitions are smoother.